what's up, man? What's good, guys? What up, what up, what up man? Welcome what's to good, your Missing job, man? Piss podcast, you know? Yes, Welcome to your Missing Piss called podcast. The crazy thing, I think, uh, come on, only, only knows us like, we only do filming. <laughs> 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 That's the American probably just know, know us as what? Well, just. Oh, no, you had to huh? let him introduce himself. Huh? You, you gotta be like, <laughs> I just jumped in. You gotta like, be like, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> anyways, anyways, yo, welcome to a missing piece. Welcome to a missing piece. Uh, we got a crazy guest in the building, you know. You know and you guys have seen, we just did another podcast earlier on. And uh, one of the best guys I've met since this month, you know, I've, I've been around this guy this whole month, and it's been, uh, it been a movie the whole month. Yeah, so movies. It's been a movie the whole month. Straight movies, movies, on movies, man. Movies on movies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The youngest. The hottest rapper in Minnesota right yeah, now. I'll okay. say that, man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Introduce yourself, man. Shit, they call me Kumo. 21 years old, just turned 21. Out here in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Rapping for Minnesota, we trying to put Minnesota on the map. That's it. That's, That's it. The goal. That's it. Yep, yep. And you guys, bro, he, he released some crazy, crazy songs. I know bro. y'all know him, bro. Like, oh, yeah. They yeah. have to. They have yeah, to. Yeah, I know that. They, yeah. If you don't know, to. now you know. Now yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> they have to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you guys go stream his music, bro. He got some hey. mostly females, bro. Y'all females that like shaking Yash no and go lie. Oh, There's a song called oh, Ass. Man. That song is crazy. Oh, my mama. Yeah, that that song is crazy. Oh, my mama. That, you know? Really, I just was thinking, like, man, I need to make, we be in the club, so I need to make a club hit at that point. Yeah, <laughs> like, I hate, like, you, it, it will go crazy. Yeah, so, made away heavy, yeah. just. Mm-hmm. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> hey, that's that's how we You know, because like for example, that song. That's I think that's one of my favorite songs in the club. Like when they play, it, I be singing. Like they, they played it yesterday. That's been I think a tune twice. for the whole yeah. month, bro. And, hey, but I, I, would, I think you. I don't know if you were there or not. Probably, bro. I be there's moving a time when around, he wasn't. Bro, like, I was like, is he even here? Because I was I was <laughs> filming. I'm like, okay, where's this guy? <laughs> bro, my bottles like because I don't uh-huh. even drink no more. Like me and KK stopped drinking. So uh-huh. like when the bottles be coming out, I don't even be there. Oh, yeah. yeah, and then people be like, "Bro, your bottles are." I'm like, "Y'all yeah. good?" Nah, that's for you guys. <laughs> you me? Yeah, bro. Like at that point, uh-huh. but that's all it is, bro. We just trying to. It's a lot of songs that get played in the club, so we might as well have one of them. Mm-hmm. Literally a club hit. Literally. Oh, yeah. that's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right, man. I, well, okay. One aside, I'm I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a just dive, dive into it, and I'm gonna start with your personal life and stuff like that. Right. Like, what really, what really getting into music? Like, how did you start music and stuff? Bro, I started music probably like two years ago, but I've been freestyle. I freestyle, so I've been oh, okay. freestyling since I was like probably like twelve years old, ten years old, like with my brother, just like messing around on beats and stuff like that. But I started taking it serious probably like mid twenty twenty two. Oh, merch, okay. So yeah, That's like sick. probably like two solid years, on huh, bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so what, where were you born? Like I was born in the suburbs. So I was born in like well, actually, I was born in St. Paul. I lived in St. Paul for probably like five years. Until I was like four or five, and then I moved to the suburbs. My mom got a job; she do skin, yeah. so she got a job. We moved out there, and then since then I was there. And then I turned eighteen. And I got out the crib, like oh, simply. And then now I just be out in the cities. Really, I mostly be in the cities. I don't live in the cities or nothing, but I be in the cities. Okay, okay, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. Oh, my, my. I mean, then I mean, okay. How many songs have you released so far? Like. Probably like 20 oh songs, yeah. okay. probably like 20 songs since I started. But I'd say like, realistically, like there's probably like 10, my, since my project, that's when I started like making music. Okay. Like that before it was just like I was dropping songs, like you feel me, I freestyle, I'd be like, oh yeah, that shit hard, post it. And then they go decent. And then I made a whole like 10 uh, song project. And ever since then, it kind of set a new standard. Mm-hmm. And then I was kind of just like, I'd say I got like, 15 really good songs out like that i would be able to you know push in any any type of field type thing but yeah i probably got like 25 30 songs out all right, all right. Good, 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 good. i mean out of it is there a song that you would be like yeah this song this song is the word that yeah that me the really last good. song i just dropped what we doing oh what um, we doing 600 yeah. seconds damn near anything off my tape like robbie dropping heat bro it's just we in minnesota so you know that shit don't be sticking for the longest because you know the minnesota is just a very like trendy state so mm-hmm. like because we don't really start any trends as of right now that's what we pushing towards is like being like the trans headers yeah but so it's kind of just like when shit is popping we get the last of it like it's like oh yeah this is popping and then like three weeks later something else is popping and then yeah. four weeks later something else is popping so it's just trying to get that one song to stick you feel me all it takes is one song bro do you think you're gonna stay in minnesota like do your music and shit uh, i feel like well, I mean, with the team, like, with me, KK, like, Dan, like, you know, like, just all the people around us, I feel like our goal is to just make sure that Minnesota, like, 
believe in us. Like, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, support what we're doing to the fullest. Like, they would be able to go somewhere else and be like, yeah, this is what we do back home before we leave. Because I feel like a lot of people leave without having the community behind them. Oh, yeah. I've, and then that's I've, how I've you have your that. roof cave in on yes. you. You feel me? Like, you got to build a foundation. I feel like it start foundation. where you come from. And if you can't, not take over, but like, you know, take over where you come from, like be a top prospect. You can't be a top prospect anywhere. That's how I feel. Like well, I feel gotta like start where you from. Like it'd be like that. And then build around that. That's how I'm coming type shit. That's how my team coming, I feel like. Hey, that's 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 what no one lie. Like I feel like that's a that's a crazy approach 'cause I've 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 a friend, um I've a friend uh who uh he has he, she, I mean he's he has uh, the artist Mm-hmm. Did you released the song last year, right? And the song was crazy. The song right. uh, what was the people song. I don't even remember. What I'm it's called about. what? People, people. Uh uh-uh. uh. Something. It's like mostly. I think it's, it's an Afrobeat. Song. It's Afrobeat. Oh yeah, they be going. That, Afrobeat that go song, crazy. Yeah, that song went crazy. It's yeah. like everywhere. Like even Chris Brown was bringing like a remix on it. Hell on yeah. these other people, and she hasn't she hasn't done a concert here. Yeah, is she from, from here? here? Yes. What's her name? Uh, uh, the Bianca. Uh, yes. Yeah, she I know who you're talking about. Concert here. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I like the approach she did, but uh-huh. at the same time, when you think about it, it's like, yeah, your people are still here and stuff like that. You yeah. Know? But her song went crazy. So like, when you're doing like that, and then I think like most, most of what's gonna do is like most people are around you, are home, hometown. They're gonna know you around. Hell you're yeah. Gonna, Acknowledge what you do and stuff like that, you know. Hell yeah, and that's the best part about it, you know. You just want to come back to the city and be like, "Oh, these people really acknowledge who I am." Feel me? Be able to walk around the street and people be like, "Bro, Kumo, oh, like, they know bro, we is. like, we fuck with you, bro." bro yeah. Know what you've done Instead of city. just like, "Oh yeah, he's like a rapper," like, "Nah, we fuck with you." I want people to like Dang. really believe. Like, if they were to see me in the street or something like that, they'd be happy. Mm-hmm. Like, oh my god, like, hey, what's up? Like, mm-hmm. it's good because I'm never the type. People like that Hollywood. I feel like a lot of people in Minnesota tend to get the Hollywood standard. Like, yeah, you feel me? And it's like in the club, maybe you can give that off because it's different. I'm not trying to have a conversation in the club. True. Like, it's music banging, it's loud as hell. Everybody <laughs> drunk, me. spitting no on your face. Like, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not trying to do all that. But it's like if I were to see a random person or a supporter, you feel me, on the side of the street, and they were like, "Yo," I would stop and say, "What's good?" Like, right. that's what I'm saying. So I feel like. In five years from now, if we are, you know, all the way on and we travel in the world and we doing all that, I want to be able to come back and, like, walk through where I'm from. Like, J. Cole, mm-hmm. he bike around his, bro, he bike around. I'd be looking at that guy, bro. Like, like, bro, like I remember yeah. when the dis, when there was a diss of him and Drake and all, like Kendrick, whatever. Yeah. I love the way, I'm not going to lie, like, bro, I'd rather choose peace than choose violence. Like, yeah. it's good to be all these popular or be like, oh, I'm the man of the house, this and that. But, like, right. at the end of the day, like, when you're going to sleep, I want to lay my bed even uh, somewhere without even being worried about nobody. Literally. You know, for example, me, I feel like, for example, like I just seen, I just seen him, uh, I just seen like a clip of him in New York biking after the drama was on, after uh-huh. he, he backed up and apologized all that. And then he went back to the streets and bike his bike and he doesn't even have security. He's just biking peacefully. He's just cool. And, and that, that gave me a mindset of like, you know, sometimes there's, there's some things, bro, you don't even gotta be the man of the house. Like some Literally. people think like, being Let a guard go, dog man, or like, like a bulldog in the house, like I'm the yeah. man. Sometimes it's about how you think about it. Because for example, like now, he can still go do his own peaceful thing he like doing, like other than yeah, being yeah. a celebrity, bike around as a normal person to meet people. And nobody really distracting. Like if you look at him, like for example, if he was like, all these are celebrities, they come in the city, they're shutting down the city, they bring confusion, all these other right. things. By him, everybody just knows this guy's leg rare. He's like one of us, but he just, by then, still he has a high top rank. Yeah, like somewhere. he's respected. Mm-hmm. So it's to the point where they're like, don't even, but that's J. Cole. Like, right, right. Just let him be. Mm-hmm. Nah, that's, mm-hmm. why, that's why people love him. Cause yeah. I don't know. He humble as hell. That's the mm-hmm. thing, too. I feel like, <clears throat> like being down to earth until you are literally, like, you feel me? Like, yeah. to the point where everybody's like, like that that's how it should be. Like I like you shouldn't be like, Yeah, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm this, I'm this, I'm that, I'm that. Like and nobody else is saying it. Yeah. Like it should be a thing where it's like the whole like community over here, Knows. here, here is saying, Yeah, this is what's going on to the point where you're like, All right, this was everybody like this everybody. was going on. Like it's a fact at that point. It's not opinion based. Like yep. J. Cole is one of the most respected artists in the game uh-huh. factually because he could bike around in a major city with his hood down. Be peaceful. And be peaceful, and nobody's going to try and kill him or, you know, try and rob him. He's not wearing no big chains, no yeah. big boots, designer, but, like, he's just in a jumpsuit on a bike. He's a regular dude, yeah. bro. Like and that's a great thing, too. Like, when you look at him, like, he's just legro, bro. 
You feel me? But if you look at that, people in the same industry that he is, they, they carry themselves different, which is, I mean, it's great at the same time. But, like, when when it comes to uh, people of your safety, mostly life is important more than all these things that we do, you know? Hell yeah. So when it comes to that type of things, like, okay, do you choose life or do you choose violence? Like, you know, I'm, I'm, I am still have my family. For example, at the end of the day, what you want to go to is your family. Right. That's what you're doing, what you're doing for, you know? Right. You want to make this people proud. You want to go back home and eat with them. You want to do okay. this on that. So if whatever you're doing and your safety is not there, imagine. And the other things, like, if you're not safe, that means your whole family is not safe. Yeah. You feel me? So, so like, it's, it's super important for... For like when when we 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 approach those type of like celebrity realms or like when we are like up there up there to be humble too because it helps right. you so much right. so as a person to to live a peaceful life you know you don't go to any country and just chill chill you know? like I, sometimes I think like what was the point of being a celebrity when I could go to Walmart I just want to yeah. get my even walk in like me I love popcorn you know what I'm saying when I go to Walmart well. I go to Walmart to get popcorn I walk in and then. I just wanted my pocket and then go home and then they shut that shit down. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Yeah, I didn't enjoy much. this shit. This is what they want some popcorn, bro. That's, too much. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm there. That's why I'm saying they do be too much. That, yes. I ain't gonna lie, and there's scales to it too. Like when people blow up, like even experiencing, like you could be like the most popular person in your city. Mm-hmm. And like, like Boss Man D Lo or like Sexy Red before they left, mm-hmm. like I bet that shit was crazy to be in the city, like driving around everywhere they went. Yeah. But it's like, I don't know, I, I don't know. It come with the shit at the same time. Oh yeah, like oh, the yeah. big crowds, and it's like, especially with the person like me, I'm throwing money around, like you know all that type of shit. Like obviously, people are gonna be like, yeah, he, he he's rich, it. like he's this, he's that, like so it's like. But it's all that image at the end of the day. So it's like, you just got to, that's why some people, when they pick their image, they fall off. Mm-hmm. Because it's like, yeah, you could pick an image, you could be this, you could live up to that. But can you keep can you living keep up to that? Can you, that can you, image. or is this just something you want to do for a year because you know you could do it for a little while and get some money? Like, it's longevity type thing, bro. That's why, that's why I'm trying to, that's why I've never, like, people always ask me, what kind of music do you make? Mm-hmm. I'm like, shit, I make all type of music like there's I I'll rap I'll hop on some slow shit some melodic shit like it really don't matter whatever because I feel like once you put yourself in that box you can only go down right. like once you like oh yeah I just top of the top I just made the best this ever then what at that point like you're gonna have to expand get out the box like that's hey. I don't know I feel like it's a lot of straight line shit straight line shit I don't be liking that like straight just one lane like Who's to say you can only be in one lane? Yeah. Like, yeah. I feel true, like there's true, a true. bunch of lanes. Just stay in your own personal lane. Like, literally, don't be crossing over, stepping on people's toes. Yeah. But you could get in between the lines and shit. Yeah, it'd it be like that, too. I mean, I, as I said, like, you. Like, for example, like, I'm, I'm be honest, like, bro, in the next five years, you're going to be far, bro. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. It's like, right now, if you look at, like, for example, the songs that they play around people, everybody's vibing to that shit. Oh, bro. And that's the most important thing. Like, yeah. do these people respect what I'm doing? Do, is my music helpful to these people like for example people like having fun is my music help them have more fun that they want you know right. and that's super important so i mean do you have okay do you when you look at all this like in the rapping industry do you have like um do you have a certain person you'd be like this person i used to you listen to them to? yeah juice world oh oh yeah because he freestyle bro that's what i like yeah. i could freestyle for hours bro like you feel me like that's how that's what i do like literally like so it's just like the way he made music in the way it was like so like all right yeah i'm gonna come in here and make a song on this beat and then he makes it in like five minutes and then it's hard and it's just so natural and it's just like i don't know i mess with the way he created his music yeah like all the other stuff he was doing like you know i really don't support the pill popping and all that type of shit but like this um, but like his music part yeah. that was great drake he took over the profession he's the best to ever do the profession of music like statistically mm-hmm. so when it comes to that playing the game i respect that type of shit too and then I'd say like on a like a favorite level, probably like G Herbo. Oh yeah. Or like yeah, Luko. Uh, I'm trying to think. Like Herbo, Michael Jackson, yeah. Eric Badu, uh, I'm trying to think. Who's another rapper? O T seven Kwani right now. I'm really messing with bro. He go crazy. Uh but yeah, it's just like bro, a lot of pieces like I'm never one to be like, yeah, I want to be like that person. Okay. But it's like, I like something that he like does, like and, he does do. and he does, and he does, and he does. If I did all of those four things, I could probably do something crazy. Mm-hmm. Like, literally. So that's that's how I see it. But yeah, like, biggest inspiration, I would say, like, Juice World or, like, Drake or, like, G Herbo, literally. I bet, baby. That's what's up. That's what I mean. That's, 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 that's the same thing I always tell people like me. I never really want to 
look like anybody. Yeah, no, nah, that's like I, there, there might be something that they do that I love doing. Like I want to do the same thing or like do something better than they do. But like, like I'd be like that person. Oh yeah, I want that person spot. Like now nah, I'm gonna do yeah, my own thing. Cool. Let me carry my own crown until my my time to shine is there. You feel my me? Mama. It'd be like that. It'd be like that. So hey, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right, man. So f- I mean, for a kid that's looking up to you, he's like, oh. You know what I'm saying? He's like the rapper. That's Kumo right there. Who, right. who, who is you in a personal way? Like, who, who's bro, Kumo? I ain't, ain't going to lie. Like, I'm a simple-ass nigga, bro. Like, a lot of people like to put a stamp on what they're all at. Like, yeah, he... Like, just last night, bro, I was with some people, and they was like, who you with? And they was like, oh, I'm with Kumo, like the rapper, like the one who thinks he's the shit. And it's kind of just like, bro, like, when you create a person, when people start saying that you're the shit, and people start, you know, you start popping your shit yeah. and you just doing stuff to the point where it looks like you're the shit. Mm-hmm. People are going to automatically say that you think you, you shit. think it. You feel yeah. me? Bro, I'm not any better than nobody yes. anywhere. Like, hey, I ain't going to lie. I have 3,000, 4,000 followers on Instagram, bro. Like, I live in Minnesota. I'm 21 years old. I don't own a house. Like, at the end of the, I have talent, bro. Like, yeah. that's what I have. And I have hard work. And I feel like I know my worth. So, like, at the end of the day, I'm just, an, I feel that like I'm an intelligent, down-to-earth type of person, and I know how to listen. I don't, like, mm-hmm. you feel me? Like, you could get rich off of just listening to what people say. Yes. Like, you 100%. could get rich for free. All you have to do is sit back and listen. listen. Like, that's all you have to do. So, it's like, I see myself as, like, that kind of person who in the group, like, I have all my friends and stuff, and I feel like my job and all of that is just to make sure everybody good. Yeah. Like, you feel me? Just make sure, like. On a mental side, on a physical side, on the money side, like we going out somewhere, I'm the nigga doing the head count. Uh, you feel me? Or like yes, we yes. go out somewhere, man, something's happening. Cumo, what we doing? Like I'm making sure everybody cool, and I feel like that just plays into my rapping, and that just plays into like the club scene. Like I just want to make sure that everything good and living that type of way, like doing everything to a pinpoint accurate, like 100 percent completion. That's how I shape my life, like, type thing. Just, like, make sure you do everything to the full effect. Everything going to play out. Treat other people the way you want to be treated, for real. Yeah. Like, because I'm heavy on the, like, if I don't fuck with somebody, like, yeah. it's, it's cool. Like, you feel me? I don't fuck with you, bro. You don't have yeah. to fuck with me. Like, simple as that. Keep it cordial. Like, I'm never a, I'm never a beat around the bush type person. So, like, that's why I don't know. That's what I be doing, like, bro. But if you take it out of the weekend, like, weekday, bro, I'm cooling, bro. Like, right, just making right. money, gang. A thousand a day. That's my goal. Make a thousand dollars a day. It'd be like the, the, that's what I'm saying. Like at the end of the day, it's like, bro, it's about like the me as I always say, like it's about where I come from. I want those people to be comfortable. Hell yeah. You feel me? Because for example, if you have a family member who works a nine to five struggling and you know you can help, like, bro, yeah. that shit no cool. <laughs> that shit not it, bro. Yeah. I can't work no nine to five. Like, like bro. if I can help them, like I'm here struggling. I'm not trying to make this and feed the other people. You know, feel like me? like I've seen some people. Um, they they go to that point of they go to that realm of richness. Or like they could afford to have some type of wealth, and instead of going back and 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 germinate, they help their family back there. They feed the outsiders. While you find another, even your grandma or something working a nine to five when she's like oh, sixty. My mama, bro, that's you what niggas be having their priorities fucked. It's like, it's not. A, I just said this, bro. It's not going to be like if I were to get on today. If I were to get signed, like. Some bro, one of my niggas is gonna be on my contract. Like you right. gotta pay them thirty k a year, right. or like right. you gotta give them forty k a year. Like you gotta like D Rose, bro. He got signed to Adidas mm-hmm. or not a yeah, was it Adidas, bro? And he made sure that his brother got paid like seventy five thousand a year, right, for the rest of his life Mind on like a contract. Just because you can, bro. If you have the access to do mm-hmm. some shit, bro, put your niggas on, bro. The same niggas that you was talking about it with, like people, like you said, they get lost. Like I've seen it mm-hmm. firsthand, like. Like, literally, firsthand, a nigga will be somewhere. Ha- ask these people, yeah, fuck with me. Like, believe in me. Do this for me. Like, I'm going to make it. They make it. Forget and then they're like, fuck them niggas. I got a bag. I'm going to fuck off the bag. I got the bag. Like, no gang. Like, nobody does anything by themselves. Like, no, I don't give a fuck, <laughs> how, I don't give a fuck how hard you is. Like, nobody did anything without somebody else. Oh, no. There's like, there's things. help. From oh, something, yeah. from some way, it could be a hint from God. God helped you at that point, like yeah. literally. So it's just like, once I get a bag, bro, my niggas gonna be cool. Yeah. Cause if I'm cool, my niggas gonna be cool. Just like That's right it. now, bro. I'm not rich, gang, but I have money, bro. 
And my niggas are cool. That's the best like, thing about it. You, you feel know? me? If and we pop out somewhere, gang, there's no... Oh, uh, nah. <laughs> nigga, we have... We're good, gang. Like, like you feel too. me? So I, that's like, what I be feeling. Like, for example, like when I go, I be going like, uh, if I have my brothers or my siblings or anywhere, somewhere I go, or sometimes, I, you know, like my friends or anything, like, Sometimes I just be like, yo, go get it, whatever you want to get. Like, you if I have me, it, like, yo, go get it, whatever you want to get. I don't want you to be like, oh, I can't get that because I don't it. have this. Like, get it. Get it. If I have it, like, we're going to think about anything else tomorrow. Just yeah, go get bro. that shit, you know what I mean? I be and heavy on that. those are the people. And those are the people that, bro. Like, that's what I said. Like, this, there's something I say. Like, those are the people that are going to cry to your funeral, bro. Those are the people that are going to be like, this guy is like, damn. What's going to happen? You know, why, why is this person not with us or something? There's those people who are outsiders we feed too much. Okay. When you die, bro, they don't feel shit. Yeah, literally. But that's why it could be like, mean. it could be like, like I just said this, like you could write it, bro, you pull up to the club, you feel me? It's mm -hmm. a thousand people there who yeah. feel me. Oh, hey, they want to record you. You feel me? And it's like, man, I got love for them, but it's like, if I were to crash my car, who? Is them niggas gonna pull up? Well, you gonna pull up and get me? Like you feel me? <laughs> like it's levels to this shit. Like I'm gonna supply them. <laughs> I'm gonna supply them niggas a good time for yep. show every yep. time, because yep. I know they gonna make sure that mm -hmm. they have a good time. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But when it comes to like, I feel like a lot of people do shit for the image, bro. Like, oh yeah, bro, we just, I just did this for these niggas. Fuck it. Like gang, yo nigga. Yo nigga don't even got a crib right now. Yeah. yeah. Like, yo man's is fucked up right now. And you talking about, you just did this. Like, what's going on, bro? Like, motherfuckers just be putting a lot of, like, what is what is that shit called? Like, people try to get that that cool point instead of just making sure shit's cool. Like, it's, it's good cool to take a little know. loss to make sure niggas is good, bro. Like, go. I'm heavy on that. I'll go broke for a couple of days, nigga, to double my money. Yeah. On my mama, I stay down till you come up for a show game, like. Like, to that's another thing. To everybody who think, like, having fast money or, like, having, like, buying designer clothes and, like, buying fucking, like, all that all that cool, like, oh, yeah, I got this, I got that. If you can't buy it three times, bro, don't buy it, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, all that, all that money that you spending and going broke for and hurting but you look good, like, that is so terrible and backwards, bro. Like, I had to, I had to learn that, bro, like. I used to blow bags on on stupid shit and walk around with a thousand dollar fit on with eighty dollars in my pocket. You feel me? And then I had to realize, like, nigga, what the fuck am I doing, bro? Like, I don't got a car, nigga. I'm barely paying my rent, nigga. Like, I'm a I'm a rapper. Fuck, I'm, fuck what am I doing, like, bro? It's levels to the looking cool is different than having your shit on lock, like. Being cool is being able to be like, yeah, nigga, all my shit's taken care of, gang. Not, yeah, nigga, I got uh, Louis Lavins, that. like that shit don't be cool, bro. Because my little homies just sent me, bro, my little homie sent me a video. Uh -huh. They was like, we, like, peep the fits. I'm like, bro, how much money y'all got in y'all pocket, bro? Uh -huh. Like, literally, like, simple as that. Because it's just like all this, all this Fugazi-ass, like, image, like, yeah, I'm rich, like, you feel me thumbing through eight hundred, seven hundred dollars, nigga. Like that shit not cool no more, gang. Like, get a bat. Like I'm finna start checking niggas dead ass, bro, because that should be pissing me off, gang. I almost posted today. Like half of these niggas haven't even seen fifty thousand yeah. dollars, screaming that they're rich, yeah. and fifty thousand dollars ain't shit. Yeah, like I just had yeah. to realize that, gang. Like once I touched my first, you know, big lump sum of cash, bro, yeah, and then got halfway through it. I'm like, nigga, that... That shit was nothing. That's nothing. <laughs> that was nine, bro. Yeah. Nigga, you have to make 100,000 ten times to touch a mm million -hmm. dollars, bro. Like... Like, niggas don't even be thinking that way. Niggas be talking about a band. Two bands. Bro, two bands is a weekend, my nigga. Oh, no, no, that shit's nothing. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be so Dude, real, that, nigga. That we shit's spent, nothing, bro. We spent <laughs> damn near 5,000 on uh, bottles on my birthday game. Like, imagine. That like, shit, and then when we think about it, like, that shit flies by fast. Fast, nigga. So it's like, if you fast. don't got it, nigga, don't spend it. Huh? Because you are going to wake up mentally nothing. ill. Oh, yeah. my mom, you are gonna wake up like, damn. Bro, why did well, I, I remember, just go I remember there's a, there's a time, I think, I think, I think, I, I did, I did like, a, I learned my lesson or something. I just, I just, I think I spent my money on like, it was like weird shit, bro. You know, I woke up in the what? morning. I, just, I don't know, I bought some stupid shit. Nah, this nigga I didn't know about the jacket, I to, bro. I went to, uh, oh, that, even that jacket, bro, I'm not even gonna lie, that shit was just no there, bro. <laughs> I bought this one jacket for, that shit was expensive as fuck. In the morning, I, I looked up, at this nigga, I was like, bro, we like, went to the ball. Like, like what the shit? fuck you got that bitch, bro? Why did I buy what that kind of, shit? What kind of jacket was it? I don't know, it was like some, some white people store, bro. It was some leather jacket. Man. Leather, he was, shit. 
we was out like in the mall. He was, uh-huh. I don't even know who it was with. And then they, the person asked them, "Yo, you know, you get there." And then this nigga oh, was like, like someone you was with or that yeah, worker? yeah, like they, like it's just like when you carry yourself. The pressure. The I look at this nigga. You had like, cash bro. in your pocket. I do. I, I just you carry cash. That yeah, shit. that's yeah. why. Yeah, bro. I lost like huh? I stopped carrying cash. God, God definitely sent me a sign, bro. I lost like eight thousand. Like Damn. my whole my car got ran through. Nothing got took except for my my own bag. Damn. Like literally. So I was like, you feel me, like. Bro, cash is the devil's work. I swear to God. Oh, bro. That's like, even flying. Holding that cash, nigga. Huh? Like when you got a knot this big, mm-hmm. you're not stopping until it's this big. Now this goes down, right? And then you go and be like, damn, how yeah. much I got? And then you count it up. Stop bro, counting I, now. It's been points on the weekend, bro, where like that's why I stopped <laughs> drinking, real, bro. bro. My mama, that's why. I, that's, <laughs> that's half of the reason. Bro, I didn't even huh? think about it. That shit this big, the way it gets, you that's where you stop. You start thinking like, damn, I need to go. And then you might, so bro, I know some niggas that once they get down on their money, they start acting different. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. Niggas start morals, start going out the window, nigga, like shit like that. But I was like, bro, like it's been points where like that drinking shit is real, bro. That drinking, like mm-hmm. you start to think you Superman, nigga, off that liquor. So like you will go in somewhere, spend some money on some liquor, get drunk. And be like, fuck it, nigga. I'll spend some more money on some liquor. Oh, my. I'll buy some more liquor for these people too. And this liquor. And then it's like, boom, you just spent so much money in one city. Damn. Whether then if you had your card, you're not pulling your card out four times. Yep, yep. I'm not pulling my card out four times. <laughs> <laughs> fuck I look like. I see some cash, like, fuck it. You're going to throw a couple they hundred dollar shit. bills on the floor. Man, man like, you, you go shopping, bro. You got a stack of cash. You look man, at it. Like, you I got you enough, bro. You yeah. me, gang? Take I, it. Like, fuck it, gang. Like, but then you get, I don't know, bro. Yeah, all that money shit. I'm gr- I'm glad I went through that phase last year. Like yeah. that spending. And- no, like, like, like I, 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 used to, I used to throw money. Like, we used yeah. to throw money a lot. When we go to events, I used to throw money a lot. I yeah, was I'll the be throwing person. money. And I don't know, sometimes when I came to realize, like, I love doing that shit, no, I'm going to lie. It's just like there's a time I think I throw way too much than I expected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel yeah. me? And, and <laughs> even that, like, where that it's here. just like I had the cash thing too. I had a, I had a stack that I wanted to throw, okay? But... There was some hundred dollar bits that I didn't want to throw. Oh, you throwing hundreds? But the thing is, I when I took it, I was so excited. I took that shit out and just yeah, we ain't throwing no hundreds this Bro, way. Bro, bitch. We ain't throwing no hundreds this way. I don't give a fuck if I'm. Nah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even think Drake throw that shit. I don't even think. I didn't want that shit. nigga was like, man, that's my rent Bro, money. I, told this nigga, I was like, <laughs> no, yo, I definitely be throwing niggas you rent. What the fuck I just did? <laughs> throwing niggas rent be. Sp- Huh? Be like, bro, it, it depends, bro. Like, it depends on the fashion of how you throwing the money, bro. Like, if I'm getting paid to be somewhere, I'm going to throw a couple hundred dollars, right. man. Like, you feel me? You're getting yeah. paid, you know, close yeah. to a thousand, close to five hundred, like anywhere to where yeah. I'm doubling. Like, I'm going to throw some I'm money throw to some get these niggas a good I'll time. I'll be saying the same thing. I'll be like, I'm going to just give it back. Like, you like, feel me? Fuck it, gang. Up. And I believe in karma, gang. I'll be seeing these motherfuckers really pick up that money, gang. Oh, yeah. Bro, I done seen some girl, bro, some girls yesterday mm-hmm. posted my money and added me. Mm-hmm. They had like $90. And ones and, and the they needed like, it probably, gang. Oh, yeah. You know oh, what they yeah. probably did with that? Oh, Niggas yes. have kids, gang. Yes, real life. Yes. That ninety bucks probably about they ass mm-hmm. some diapers and some formula or some. That should like. be facts though. There's a time <laughs> I, I, I went to the bank. I took out some money too. I wanted to. We had an event that late at night, and I walked to a car wash. I found this girl. She she had a, a car instead of having the normal like light on the the flash on the on the on the front. She had them Dollar Tree like press ons. Oh yeah, taped on there. And I look at this, I was like, bro, I'm going to go through this shit. But fuck it. I just give that girl, bro. My mama. And I was like, oh, well, hey, you never know what's really, what's really the most. Like, this is my, that's what I'm saying. When you carry money, bro, you just bro. don't know what you're going to come up on. When I carry money, bro. I, uh, if I see a homeless person, I'm going to give them all that shit, bro. That's I'm giving <laughs> homeless niggas dope. It'd be like that. Giving their ass weed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you say like you, you give weed? They be, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> if it it goes some right. weed, but most of the time, he's taking like, that shit. Oh yeah, they, they, they trying to I get. I've had some do. niggas be like, I don't want the weed, bro. Uh-huh. I'm trying. To, so it's like now, mm-hmm. knowing damn well that I did some shit about it. When I be seeing niggas that don't do some shit about it, like I, when I'm sober, I just be thinking to myself. Oh but yeah. When I get drunk. Nothing. Then it's like, fuck it, nigga, I'm going to spend, nigga. Wow. Fuck it, nigga, I'm going to spend again, nigga. Yeah. Fuck it, I'm going to spend again, nigga. Y'all don't got it? Oh, I got it. I'm going to spend it. But that shit, that mindset, I don't know if that's the right mindset to have. Nah, nah, nah. nah. Be great. Mostly, that mindset hits you in the morning when you wake up. <laughs> that liquor, bro, that liquor, not it, bro. I'm nah. telling you. Liquor be fun and shit, bro. Like, it be fun, but 
To be drunk all the time, you got to be mentally fucked up, gang. It'd be like, bro, all these club runners and gang, all these niggas in the club, like working in the club, bro, you really realize half of these niggas are mentally fucked up, gang. Like these niggas hate their <laughs> lives, my nigga. Like the only thing they have going is having 8,000 followers on Instagram and five bad bitches that will pick them up and come suck their dick. That's it. That's it, gang. That's it. Like that's it, nigga. Like I don't want to pick them up. Come on, get pick them up. Pick them up. Pick them up because they don't have a car, gang. Feel me? Because these niggas is living five hundred to seven fifty a day. Spent, spend it before. And my thing, like, what those girls see, like, what the fuck, like, a free entrance to the club and free bottles. Because you got to realize these bitches be broke, the brokest. Not bitches, but these girls. These girls be the brokest. Like, you think niggas be broke, gang? Ask a girl to open her bank account. App, my nigga. Then you're going to pass out. You are going to gonna be fucking like, pass out, going gang. On? I'm that. telling you, these girls be 23 with no car, living at their mom house, with they no be. money. They not, they can't, you feel me, checking they, ooh, it might go through. Like, mm. you feel me, gang? I can't live. And then there's some, that's why I respect the girl who get a bag, gang. Yeah. Like, any yeah. girl out here who is getting money, gang, like, I will never not. You could be a bop. Mm -hmm. You could be fucking every nigga in the city. If you, you got a bag, bag, if you get into some money gang, mm -hmm. I can't say shit about you. Now, if you broke as hell and you doing that shit. And you mm -hmm. say you want a nigga who make a million dollars, it's like, yeah, that bro, should be what, tripping, bro? A bit tripping. Because, I mean, that, that's, that's, I think that's the generation we live in right now. Like, most, most I think my, most females are, 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 more, are more not focused in that part of standing for themselves, you know? Right. So, like, finding a girl who's really standing Doing for herself and be man. like, yo, I have my own goal to do. I'm going to make my own money. Like, you know damn. what I'm saying? I, That's I, the most attractive thing yeah. a girl could say to me. It is. Like, it bro, is. I, super, I, I be, super, bro. bro, I ain't going to lie, bro. Like, I don't be in the mix like that no more with the females. Like, but I'm saying like beforehand, like talking to girls back then, before I even had a dream, you feel me? I would ask girls, what you want to do? Mm -hmm. Bro, motherfuckers can't say shit. Mm -hmm. Like, you feel me? My, oh, I want to. Go to school. I want to get rich. <laughs> and you're like, <laughs> how? Like, how you gonna do that? Like, if somebody tell you that, like, bro, that's just that's gonna be the most crazy answer. If you tell me like you wanna be rich, I'll be looking at you like, are you, are you so okay? What you gonna do? Like, like, what you gonna do to get there? You know? That's what I'm saying, bro. Just my, just off of what my homies tell me and shit, and just off of even speaking, bro. Sometimes, cause I be in the club, bro. Like, I get paid to have conversations. Like at that point, so mm -hmm. it's like having these conversations with a girl. Like, oh hey, nice to meet you. Like someone, like. My boss, he introduced me. Oh, yeah, that's Kumo. He, you know, he, he going crazy. Oh, nice to meet you. Oh, hey, you're a rapper? Yeah, yeah, I'll be rapping. What you do? Oh, nothing really. I'm in school. What are you in school for? Um... <laughs> Uh, I'm sw I've am switched majors like three like, times. I'm, I'm oh, okay, sure I the major I'm doing. You like school? No, I hate it. Damn. Type shit. Do you have a bottle? No. <laughs> like, you feel me, gang? Like, it's bro, like... This nigga just, bro, they, that's exactly... Bro, I, I was just sitting... That this, this, shit is real, I was sitting, bro. That shit real life. I was sitting, bro, like, literally, we just said, that's what I... I, that's what bro, I was regretting right. 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 the whole scene. And so it's like, to think... Female, bro. To think that's the most in-depth conversation uh, some people have is bro. scary, gang. Yeah. Like, the most person-to-person, -person, like, you know, like, conversation... Like, these people... The most highlighted point of their week be the weekend, gang. Like yeah. that. Like getting drunk for free. Mm -hmm. and, and like, and that's why I'm saying there be levels to this shit, bro. Like, I don't know. I'd be confused as hell on what, what, mm -hmm. what be going on, gang. That, that, that's why my advice even to those females, like, like to be, I mean, no, normally I don't like giving females advice. I'm not going to lie. But, like, my advice is just, like, bro, just know, like, most of these niggas that you mess with or the niggas that bring you mostly to the clubs, those niggas have their own life settled. Yeah. They have their own life figured it out. Yeah. But you being around it there, you're being delusional. You don't. Delusional. Like, as soon as that nigga leaves that club after those two hours, bro, like, they'll have something else for their life to go on. The next but day. But now, the, the next, next day, day, they're calling you again. Yeah. Like, you confused, bro. Like, figure out what you want and then. You feel me? And then even if you pull up there, like, bro, you chilling there while knowing your life. Are you knowing what you have or what you, what you really like about doing and stuff like that? Yeah. Bro, you know? that's another thing we, the clubs is, like, very. Mm -hmm. Like, the clubs is great, bro. Like, you feel me? Like, it's a place where you could turn up. It's a place where you can, you don't have to, like, 
I don't know. Like, it's just a great space, bro. But it's just like what you're doing before you go into the club makes it like that's, that's what makes it like you feel me. What you're doing yeah. Monday to Thursday, like yeah. to make sure that you are available mm-hmm. to go to the club instead of just like dreading the whole week so you can go to the club. Yeah, like, bro. you feel me? I hate like anybody who's like, oh, I can't wait to this weekend. That's a red flag to me. Mm-hmm. Like, like, you feel me? Like, why? What is? Why, what about, what about now? Like, what are we what are doing, you doing right? right now? Yeah, like, what are you doing right now to the point where you want to, like, you're already on this weekend? Like, you feel me, bro? I can't wait till the weekend over, bro, so I can get back to it and make some money because mm-hmm. I can't make no other money but my job. You feel me? I have a job to do on the weekend, so it's like I have to be able to have the energy. I can't be out here making a whole bunch of other moves when I have to be occupied from 10 to 2. Yeah. But it's like, what's that weekday hit, bro? Mm-hmm. I'd be glad, bro. I'd like, be glad I did my shit. You feel me? Nah, I go to this. Like, a lot of people, it'd be like, save your energy for the weekend. Like, nah, mm-hmm. you got to go. And, and, and the other thing I was just talking to, uh, I was just talking uh, to the other part because it was like, yo, like, most of the time, like, for example, like, let's say, like, uh, um, KK, and, like, they get paid mm-hmm. to go be where you guys are mm-hmm. going to be. You feel me? Nigga. You guys paid to get in there. Yeah. Oh, so there's mama. two different type of, like there's, there's different levels of this shit. You just got to know where you stand at. Because for example, if I get paid to go have fun and you getting paid to have, you you paying to have fun, it's two different two things. Two different things, bro. You and know? even even if you paying to, like I know people like, bro, my homies are smart, gang. Like mm-hmm. not all my homies promote, like not all my homies promote, to be honest, gang. Right. The only friends I have, that promote are Dan and KK. Right. Like, you feel me? Like, mm-hmm. and then I know other promoters and those, but like my homies I grew up with, they work jobs, bro. Like, they in college. So, like, them pulling up to the club and paying to get in, mm-hmm. I be telling them, like, bro, pay to get in. You feel me? And they get in, they might fuck around and make a connection in that bitch. Yes. Like, a lot of y'all people yes. are going to yes. the club just to get into the club and be and around. Like, like, that's the same thing when I, when I was just, I was just talking earlier, too. I was saying the same thing, like, Sometimes, like, people are like, for example, like, um, now lately, when you see, like, for example, YMP, we stand to ram around that area. Right. Because the reason being, like, our our most of the people demand that we want, they are in there. Right. You feel me? Like, for example, I'm not going to go to a graduation trying to look for a rapper or, like, how can I find a rapper to promote or, like, to do a song to film for him? You feel me? I can't find that nigga there. Like, but right. if I go on this type of area, mm. I will, like, I'll find one person that at least could give me some type of, yeah, like, Yeah, the market. Level, you That's, you got to know your market, right? Like, right now, look like right now, we met, like, I know you, like, bro, there's, there's no any other way if I didn't connect with, like, KK, for example, yeah, to, come up, to come out close to you be like, oh, yeah. I yeah, literally, bro, that. you got to get in. You know? That's what people, yeah, people be, like, in the wrong places, game. Like, yes. like, why are you, why are you, at the club, if you're trying to be, mm. you know, like a doctor. Yeah. Or like, why are you, like, and there, it's not, like, obviously everybody want to turn up. But it's like, I'm talking on a week-to-week, day-to-day. Week like, like, every week, like, bro. Like, that's your lifestyle. Yeah. Like, why is your lifestyle nightlife exactly. if you're working towards being, like, something totally different? Like, yeah. you just got to make it make sense. Just like you said, like, yeah. why would I be a cameraman trying to shoot cinematic, you know, in-depth, slow-mo film yeah. at the club? Yeah. Like, you go to... People, cameramans like you would be mm-hmm. at the club. People who are trying to do fast paced day to day recaps. You know, we trying to live this fast life. We trying to end up traveling. Like we trying to do this. Why would you be doing that if you trying to be a stationary? Like you know, there's levels to this. Like, like like you said, bro. Like walking in, you know what you're looking for. Yes, mess around the environment that you know. Feel that, me? You you, you gotta just gonna, know what, what you're going. You, you don't jump. You don't put a freshwater fish in some sea salt. Like that, it'd be like the, yeah. Feel me? Like you don't mess around the realm that you know. The people that you around, they're gonna give you like good things. Like you're gonna get like advice from them, or like even that's what I say. Like sometimes you know, like what we do, like most of the time, sometimes it's only about money, bro. Right. You feel me? Like it depends what's that what, what's the future connection you're gonna get from these people, you know? Right. That, that, that's the most important thing. So if I'm going, I'm going somewhere and. And, and and there's certain amount of money that's needed to be there. And I saw a couple racks, I bet your bitch turn into mine. Like I'm Drake, I drink Virginia Black and chase that shit with wine. Damn, my city be too turned since we rich, we pay the fine. I've been busting off this ex with rich white hoes, they doing lines. I ain't never said I'm sorry, but talk to God and I repent. Oh, yeah. And, and then another personal life, I'll, I'll ask you, like, okay, so what's your main goal with, with like, music? Like, do you look forward, like, on living the, the uh, um, living, like, the state or like going to like a different state and so my like, goal bro like honestly bro like my goal changed from when i started to now like my goal before was just to like blow up okay like be a rapper and like you know get rich off of rapping and like you know like rah 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 live the rap life but it's like that like that's cool and all but
But now that I feel like I have so much more to put on the table than just like making a good rap song, you know, and being a rapper, my goal would probably be to either get on, like I said, like that one song, mm -hmm. like just get that one song that gets me. Like Boss Man D-Lo, get in with me. You want to boss oh, up your yeah, life? Yeah, boss, like yeah. that nigga got a hundred good songs. Yeah. But that one song got, got him on. on. Yeah. So it's like I get that one song to get on, bro. I become a rapper. I already got my team, bro. Like you feel me? My I don't need to build anything else. Especially I just told KK, especially since we just met y'all gang. Yeah. Like our team is literally complete. Mm -hmm. Like the only thing we need now is exposure. Yeah. Like literally. So it's like take over this. Take over Minnesota, make sure Minnesota knows that we got them, they got us, you know, we a family, we trying to go global. Because you have to come to, you have to have your state know this. Yeah. You can't just mm -hmm. leave. You leave, they don't give a fuck. Yeah. So you got to, A, we are doing this, this is our plan, y'all. You feel me? Really update your community. Mm -hmm. They're going to be on board. Somehow get like a hit song, you feel me? People reaching out to the point where they want to book me, like do some type of bookings around the, uh, like the country. Like, hey, maybe I got a show at a college campus on yeah. ASU right. or like right. Florida State or like, you feel me? I'm semi-viral. Mm -hmm. Go and do that type of stuff. Build my fan base around while KK is hosting it. He, what we doing, Kumo? We got Kumo. He's gaining people. He's doing YouTube videos. Dan's jumping in the crowd doing <laughs> backflips. You feel me? So it's like now <laughs> they're so like, <laughs> okay, if they don't like my music, they're going to like KK's YouTube. Yeah. But if they think KK's YouTube is ass, they're going to think like Dan that. is fun <laughs> as hell. <laughs> and if they hate Dan, uh -huh. they just watched our three, all three all of our shit and hated it. Yeah. And gave that you need haters. Oh, yeah. So oh, either yeah. you're going to gain a to. fan or you're going to gain haters and algorithm. Mm -hmm. Regardless, you're going to win. Go yeah. win. So it's like get around. And at that point, now we at like 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 K on the Instagram because we just organically built up four or five states within six months. Now I'm 22, 23. Boom. Looking for a label, looking for something to sign, you feel me? Now I got a couple big features. KK's got some crazy YouTube videos with crazy celebrities. Dan's, uh, he's meeting a whole bunch of people. He's creating his shit. He does, like, you, all that together, just build up to the point where we can create, like, like this on my chain, bro. Like, when I got my first chain, bro, I could have got a Kumo chain. Oh, yeah. Like, you feel me? I had, like, $12,000 I was going to put up. I put 5000 down on an LOL pennant. Because I was like, it ain't no reason for me to get my name on a chain when I'm trying to create something bigger than myself. Yeah. So I was like, LOL is lost on life. It's not like a group. It's not like, a, oh, yeah, you're LOL. You're not LOL. Like, it's literally just like a term of a lot of people be lost inside of their life. We are lost on top of our life. We are lost in a, like, like kind of like high on life, yeah. but lost on life. Lost like, on life. people be lost inside of their life. We are on top of our life, lost oh, yeah. like as you feel me, lost like yeah. almost like I I don't I don't know like in an abyss like it's it's, it's hard to explain, bro. But it's like I can use this yeah. to do way more than more if I put myself. Qmo like you feel me and then stamped it like yeah fuck with me oh no I don't fuck with him yeah fuck with us oh yeah I don't fuck with him but I fuck with that and I fuck with that but I don't fuck with that but that shit kind of cool all together I guess you feel me so it's like putting that's my goal within the next five years to go. Naturally, get around. Naturally, my niggas gain off of that. One of us got to blow. Oh, yeah. You feel me? Somebody got to blow. Oh, Once yeah. one of us blow, we all blow. We that's all a, that's how it goes. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. just do that, bro. And I'm trying to just be, I'm trying to be like influencing a huge group of people Yes. by the age of 24. That's, that's it. Like, I'm, I don't care. Like, a lot of people, I'm trying to be rich and famous by 24. I want to be able to go on Instagram and go live and really have motherfuckers listen to what listen I'm saying. What I'm you saying, feel me? Have a thousand people. Yeah. I, I've always said, bro, I'd rather have 300,000 followers and a crazy fan base that really loves me rather than 20 million with no. fucking 5 million that are bots and, you know, they really don't care about me and I just went viral. Like, bro, it's, it's I don't know, it's a cool game. Like, like, like an artist, for example, is Lil Yachty. Yeah. He's an inspiration too. Lil Yachty is so, like, he's done everything. And he be with everybody, and he like you feel like he be with Drake, right? But then he be with the underground, mm -hmm. and then he has his own group, Concrete, and then he just put Caribou on, and she's blowing up, and then he got his style going on, like all the shit he doing is just so just like oh nobody else doing that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean yeah, that, 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 that's the thing that I've watched some couple of this stuff like he's kind of he's unique because what he like he's been 
all the way to the top guy. Yes, bro. But then he went back down to start again, like just people were saying he was the worst rapper of all time. Yeah, literally, and it's just mm-hmm. like that's cool mm-hmm. because he has so much more to offer than just rapping. Yeah, like he's Yachty, bro. He writes. Bro, he be writing for Drake. He gave Drake one of his biggest songs last year. Like, Mm -hmm. you feel me? He's giving niggas new sounds. He's giving niggas new drip. He's creating new lanes for his. He just put a girl rapper on that lazy rap. Mm -hmm. She's not rapping about her pussy. Mm -hmm. None of that. He just put her on. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I would, bro, I could see myself having a couple hit songs and quitting rapping. Yeah. Like, nigga, rapping cool and shit. But it's just like the only reason that I really, like, need to rap is because the point that I'm trying to get across, gang, niggas not listening to that shit until you have a until you have a platform, bro. Yeah. So I gotta build this platform somehow. I, I got talent to rap, so I might as well use the rap, build that that's platform. It, that's, that's something as I said, like for example, as YMP people people as I say, like many people look at us as as just a filming company, whatever. But our main goal even when we started the brand is is not even filming. Right. Like the main <laughs> was, was to inspire the youth. Like filming us like going outside, filming all these events, that was never even that was never our thing. We just right. come down here, film our content. You know what I'm saying? There's some youths. Like, for example, like me, I used to run a lot. I used to be with the best in the fucking state. Okay. You know, in high school. And then I had this big crowd following me. Mm-hmm. And then my main, my main deal was like, okay, now I'm done running. This crowd, where can I take these people? Like, now right. they're just waiting for me. Like, what, what can you give us now next, you know? Right. It's never just for that one particular thing that you're doing. And I was like, okay, well, I'm going to start filming because, I mean, I used to film, like, yeah, vlogging yeah. my runnings and stuff. But now I can just, like, shift them to another type of event or so whatever. You know, they could just listen to me do things yeah, or like, yeah. take over the city or, like, at least inspire the youth. Like, for example, as YMP, our main goal is to, insi- to inspire and encourage and empower the youth, you know. Right. But then now we're filming everywhere. But guess who's there? All the youths are there. You feel me? Or like for example, if you look at the club, like most of the time when we go to filming, uh, or those like when you guys are performing or anything like that, you could tell the type of energy even we bring in there with the Hell cameras. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? All these Hell they see yeah. this, this like we take, they see. We mm-hmm. take the pictures for free. We don't even charge them people. Like mm-hmm. my mama. just take the it's like, bro, it's like mm-hmm. some of them, it's like they wanna go like they want pictures, like bro, but it's like Photographers would be just like overcharging people, you know. What I'm saying? Yeah, photographers get, bro. It's the difference between being a mm. photographer and then being a creator. Like, yeah. y'all are creating something that people literally can't. Yeah, like people don't have the access to do what the fuck y'all niggas doing. So at that point, it's like, nigga, the way I see it, bro, a lot of niggas are stupid. Like, mm. why would you ask to get paid when you are literally <laughs> getting? You feel me, like? Like, it'd be like for me to go and talk to my boss and be like, hey, nigga, I need a pay raise, gang. Yeah. I, I want 2500 a night. Even though you, you feel me, putting me in position to really expose myself to the whole city and go to all these venues and have full access to these venues and have all these people that are coming through talk to me and know my name, I want more money. Mm-hmm. Fuck I look like. Like, that'd be like y'all asking, hey, gang, I know y'all niggas get paid X amount, but we want half every time you get paid that. It's just stupid. Like, nigga, we trying to build up some shit, and you yeah. trying to take yeah. off that. We putting sand in a pile. You trying to mm-hmm. put some in your pot. Up. Like, yep. nigga, what we doing, bro? Like, everybody just need to mm-hmm. stay down, put their shit in. You feel me, nigga? Like, like I'm heavy on the fuck it. I'll spend it, gang, mm-hmm. because it's going to look good. Like, it's going to be worth it. It's going to create something that this money like it's money well spent. It's, it's gonna come me? back. Like, money well spent. Like my you know? birthday, the sprinters and the black mm-hmm. trucks. A lot of people were asking me, like, bro, I had niggas be like, bro, you don't need all that. Yes, you do, bro. It's you, about because you need it. for example, like the rem you carry yourself. For example, if like you like, let's say for example, the way they see it, look at you, and if I pull up here with a fucking I don't know Toyota, fucking Uber. Come on, bro. That's not how. Like there's people who I'm looking, or there's people who there's people who are looking up, yeah. looking at me. And now there's something I'm very sure. Like for example, like you rap this, this rappers who are looking up to you and be like, "Oh, this, this guy nigga is something up about this guy." Like, you up with the van, like yeah, like what's going me? on, bro? And it's they like especially don't. when you have the access, like bro, mm-hmm. just go hard, do it, bro. Like make the shit look good, like make it something that motherfuckers wanna. Yeah, like bro, nobody wanna go around like yeah, I listen to this rapper, bro. That nigga is a bum. Mm-hmm. Like bro, that, fuck that's all I say sometimes. Like even if how much, for example, like no, no matter how much money you spend, mostly when you at this type of like, for example, you do music uh, or like KK, like this, there's a there's a type of amount of money you can spend way too much, yeah, but yeah. yet that money gonna bring more money 
way it, more it's, money. It's always an investment. It's never like nothing for no reason. You feel every time I spend money, mm-hmm. bro, it's to it's make it. It's always an investment. It's always, always an investment because you never know who you're gonna make. For example, let's say like us, we bought all these cameras and all the when you like everything we do here, we all invested ourselves. Nobody, my mama, you feel me? And I was gonna say like even with that, bro, like coming to the club, bro, I bet y'all get niggas who are like, oh, yo, bro, yeah, could you shoot a recap for me, bro, like. I see y'all going crazy, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, I'll pay you that. And then that's even just like, okay, fuck it. Little mm-hmm. bread on the side. Like, yeah, when yeah. I get time, I'll fuck around and you. fuck with you that or something like that. That's not going to be the main thing, You though. feel me, bro? That, <laughs> that's what a lot of niggas be asking me. Like, bro, I like my niggas make music, bro. Like, so it's like, my homies ask me, like, and, and it sucks, bro, but it's like, nigga, I need some paper or you're going to have to wait yeah. until I'm not making some paper or, and then like, I'm like, because it's like bro if i'm sitting in the studio with you making music mm-hmm. and shit that's cool gang but i'm not i'm not gaining nothing from it because it's like niggas if you asking me to make a song most of the time it's because you feel me because of what i got going on like yeah. oh yeah you're having motion you know you're going crazy like let's make a song that might help me out mm-hmm. and it's like that's cool bro but i need you got to help me out like at yeah. that point that's why it's it'd be weird like bro i like it just be weird, bro. Like, if you raw as fuck and you got a fan base and you know, like, like for example, somebody from Wisconsin who's doing the same exact thing that I'm doing comes and asks me for a feature. I'm going to give him a feature yeah. because he's doing this. He's throwing a thousand person parties and he's performing and he's got looks like he's, you know, one of the top artists in his state. Why wouldn't I? Mm-hmm. But then that's different from somebody who well, just barely be rapping like, hey, gang. I fuck with you, you my homie game. Let me get a feature. Cause then it's like gain that that but take I'm, I'm putting that you take from me. me like, oh, you made a song with this nigga? Yeah. Why? <laughs> a because this nigga's going crazy. You feel me? He's he's got this city on my oh, okay, that makes sense. B, he's paying me. That's my job. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Or C, oh, I just did it out of love. What the fuck is you doing? Like that, that's like, why would I take a loss in my business out of love? That them that business and friendship be so different, nah, gang. So yeah, two different rams, bro. You, you feel can't, me? You can't too. mix those together. Then you're going to be poor as hell. That's poor as hell, hell, gang, looking yeah. dumb as hell. Like, it just be fucked up. Like, and it'd be tough, bro. Like, niggas be thinking I'm fool. Like, oh, bro, you fool as hell, bro. Niggas, oh, yeah. Niggas Hollywood now. Niggas don't want to make no music. But it's like, gang, I can't, bro. Like, I've been making five star dishes, gang. Fuck, I look like coming out with some ramen. Like, that don't make no sense, bro. I'm bringing these niggas out. Lamb chops, steak, medium rare, motherfucking the top pasta, nigga. I ain't bringing them out no microwave, <laughs> hot dish. Like, nigga. Right? I, I'll fuck with it. I'll eat it. You yeah. feel me? I'll fuck yeah. with it, gang. But it's like yeah. the niggas that I'm mm-hmm. trying to, you know, get to buy my shit or mm-hmm. get to, you know, fuck with me. They're not fucking with that shit right now, gang. Right, right. But they would if they knew what I was doing, like getting paid for it or doing mm-hmm. some shit like that. Like, you feel me, gang? Like, I don't even be doing paid features like that unless a nigga got the bag and he ready. Yeah, like facts, I be telling facts. niggas, money ready, gang. At five hundred, seven fifty, a thousand. Like it really depends. Like if you a good rapper, gang, and you just don't got the fan base or nothing, I'll work with your budget, gang. I believe in niggas, but you gotta believe in yourself. Yeah. If you're not gonna put no paper behind yourself, why would I put my verse on your shit? It'd be, it'd be like that. And if you don't got five hundred dollars, I don't even want to work with you mm-hmm. at that point. Like nigga, niggas making money, gang. That's another thing. Niggas be like, oh, you broke or something? Why you need so much? I'm not working with a nigga nah, who don't got no like, money, nigga. Be like, it'd be like that, too. I'm like, bro, that, that's why when we charge people, they'd be like, why are you guys charging so I'm like, bro, because everything we're doing, we got to get paid. I don't know that. Like, I got to make money out of this according to the equipments we have and this and that. For example, you'd be like, if, if you're paying me 500 I'm doing a photo shoot for you for like an, an hour or something. And that hour, I'm going to take a thousand pictures. That's how my camera will take. For me to get money back, I put like, okay, you give me 500. I take 200 towards my camera. Yeah. I got now like, what, 300 left? 300 left, I, I buy softwares to edit with $100. And it's labor. You know what I'm saying? And going then labor now uh, to go through all these things, I'm wasting my time to go through it another 100. Time now costs. Now editing, my is another 100. Now I got nothing on myself. Like, you feel me? Time to costs. Spare and man. go buy myself something that. That I like Man. nothing. I got nothing. And it's myself. only five hundred. Like uh-huh. that's what niggas be like. It's really not. Like, bro, it's five hundred. It'd be like hundreds. Mm-hmm. Like if you can't if you don't that's another thing, bro. If you rapping with no money, bro, you're not gonna make it. Simple oh, as yeah. that. If you broke and you rapping, you yeah. are not going make to it. make it. If you don't have you don't you don't have to have money, but if you don't have money behind you and you're trying to do something worldwide, niggas are not listening to you. Mm-hmm. Unless you want some soft ass I'm broke, put me on shit like yeah. But, like, game, I've noticed, like, coming into rooms, gang, money talks. Yeah. And, like, I'm not saying money is everything, but there's no everything if you don't got no money. You can't have everything if you don't have money. 
Facts. Like, you feel me? It's niggas out here fucked up with money. But that's because they did the wrong shit with their money. Like, bro, I bet you if I went and gave you a million dollars right now, you'd be fine. For yeah. you'd be happy, feel me? Because you know what to do with it. Mm -hmm. But it's like if a nigga took a million and went and fucked it off, of course you're gonna be sad. Yeah. Like, bro, my, I believe money can literally buy you happiness. Oh yeah, I do. Literally too. I do buy too. it. Let, I do like, too. I really do too. You I just gotta do the right you. shit with it. It can really fuck you up. With it. But, but that money gang, mm -hmm. that money is top. Besides God, obviously you. God and then you feel me? God'll even tell you, bro. Mm -hmm. Like no cat obviously not gonna tell but God gonna tell you to get up and work. Oh yeah. What is <laughs> bro it, in yes. the Bible it says, man, if you, you gotta work if you lazy, you, mm -hmm. you won't get fed, bro. Man, and invest, nowadays invest, lazy means invest. broke. Lazy yeah. means broke, bro. If you mm -hmm. lazy, you broke. If you broke, you're probably lazy. Like it go hand in hand. And was, there's, there's a power behind that at the end of the day. There's really crazy power. Much, much. So okay, okay, I'm probably this is gonna be the last question. What's one thing you can say? Let's say there's another young rapper like upcoming and they seen you because I know there's there's so many youths who are looking up to you and stuff like that. What will you advise them like, okay, according to what like for example, like you say you are you you started with Freestyle and all these other things. Um what could you give this young kid that's wanna be a rapper or like to wanna literally approach their main goal? Like what will you advise them to to keep going or like what's something that you can motivate them with? I would say if you a rapper just starting I would say make sure that the people around you know that you about to do it. Yeah. Like, you feel me? Like, everybody got a group of friends. So, like, if you're a rapper, just make sure your homies really believe in you. Just make sure you got a circle, bro. Because all it takes is eight to ten people pushing your shit for you to start getting 30 to 40 reposts, 50 to 60 reposts, 70 to right. 80, and then it builds. So, just make sure you're using, like, yo, the people around you and their platforms, their social medias, to your advantage. Also, I would say never never get scared to drop no music, bro. Like, especially at first. Like, when you first drop a music, bro, drop whatever you think hard, bro, because nobody give a fuck. Like, literally, you could drop an ass song, bro, and only 100 people are going to hear it. Mm -hmm. Compared to the 100,000 people in the 20-mile radius that yeah. could hear it. Like, you feel me? So, never get too deep or sit on too much music because... That that's me being hypocritical because that's what I be doing sometimes, mm -hmm. and then um, I would say, just try and do it organically, bro. I hate a buy views ass rapper or you know buy your way up. Like, obviously put money behind yourself, but make sure you got real support and real talent and real traction. Make sure, like you know, let your shit breed before you totally bought it out. That's what I would say. Mm -hmm. And then last, never knock, never knock the next man. Like hating on the next rapper or trying to knock the next person is never going to work because it's always going to come back. Just make sure make sure you hold yourself up to high standards. Don't give nobody a reason to talk down on you. Just always come your hardest. Make sure you get your shit mixed and mastered. Do not, do not make no weak-ass mm. phone mix. Like, that should be cool, bro. But, like, if you got... Bro, spend that $50, $60 Yo, on that mix, bro. Like, because you... You show 100 people your song, bro, 50 people are going to turn it off in the first 10 seconds if that shit doesn't sound pleasing to their ears. Like, if it comes in and it's bass, blah, 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 like, nobody want to hear that, bro. Just put that money behind your mix. Put that money behind your craft. Make sure it's some shit you would want to show the next person. That's what I would say.